Hey guys, this video is another video in my series where I gave you some of tips and suggestions I have for you and today I'm going to be comparing actually Final Cut Pro X with ScreenFlow. Now I work with Final Cut Pro X to edit all of my YouTube videos and videos, my personal videos and I also use ScreenFlow and even iMovie so I think I'm qualified to compare both of those applications. Now if we're just talking in general which program is the best then hands down Final Cut Pro X will take the price but we are not we are talking about which program out of two is best for editing YouTube videos and that is very specific. Now it isn't well not very specific because there's a whole range of videos that you might do on YouTube, uh, very creative videos such as maybe you are making little films uh, that could be funny films or whatever, just entertainment in general, or videos like me, I'm just sitting in front of a camera and talking about technology. So again, it's a very wide uh, angle to look at because there is a lot of different videos you might do, but still it is one topic and that is YouTube. Now, how can we judge how good a program fits into YouTube? Well, I think that is for YouTubers what is important. Many people that are looking for an editor uh, are beginners. They have very, very little experience with editing video, if any experience at all. So uh, it has to be simple to use. And probably because you're a beginner, you're probably on a budget. You already got a camera or a microphone. Uh, so you need something that's as cheap as you can get so that's also price and I think there ScreenFlow really wins hands down because it is cheaper a lot cheaper it is only one third of the price which is $100 as you Final Cut Pro access price which is $300 so it's a uh, one third of the price and it is also a lot simpler to use but only in certain applications Example would be if you're just working with video and you want to uh, add some effects to your videos I'm not talking about colors and stuff uh, Not that effects but like movement effects and uh, how you switch from one clip to another or uh, Or if you want to have a window uh, right above you like I have sometimes like a picture or another video Above me showing you just what I'm talking about then screen flow probably is going to be easier to use but if you're working with audio like I do, then the screen flow is more difficult. And actually in my situation, it's a lot more difficult. And I'm gonna explain that. You see, if you're filming with your webcam and a microphone, all from your computer, and even if it's an external mic, still, if it's plugged in into your computer, if it's a USB mic that's plugged in into your computer, even if it's an external webcam that is plugged in into your computer, and you're filming, it's all gonna come out as one uh, compound clip audio and video but if you're someone like me who, uh, who has a camera and then a separate microphone so not the microphone in the camera but I have a blue Yeti right here that's hooked up to my computer and recording there and you have to combine that video from the camera and audio from the microphone then screen flow will be very difficult for you whereas Final Cut Pro is actually extremely easy you just sync it up or if you don't want to do the work you know what Final Cut can actually sync the audio with the video uh, by itself so you just uh, click select both of them and uh, you choose the option to combine them and Final Cut Pro will actually combine them uh, perfectly and then you're left with one compound clip that is extremely easy to work with because if you want to cut it in one place you, you cut both the video and the audio now I only worked with ScreenFlow for a short time uh, none of the videos that I edited on ScreenFlow are on YouTube because it actually that was a free trial and uh, for some reason it had a banner I believe uh, ScreenFlow banner on uh, in the middle of the video for the entire length I didn't like that <laughs> of course so I didn't post that but I did edit some some videos just to get an idea of how ScreenFlow uh, works because I was wondering which one I should get Final Cut or ScreenFlow and from what I got you cannot uh, create a compound clip now please do correct me if uh, if I'm wrong leave that down in the comments for people to see and I will acknowledge that uh, but from what I saw using that program there is no option for a compound clip so you have your video line or video clip and then you have your audio clip and they are separate so if you want to cut and trim the video clip you cut it in the middle say but your audio stays the same and then when you trim it then your 
audio will not sync up with your video it will be completely different so when you're cutting your video you also need to cut your audio in the exact same spot which could be very annoying if you're working with a long video where there's a lot of cuts and really the only the only place where screen flow right now at least wins for me is when I do this when I shrink down my video so I have this black background behind my video I can even I guess put it to the side and maybe twist it a little bit um, so it doesn't matter but if I have this black background I cannot figure out for my life how to get reflection on the bottom of this video how to get that reflection you know what I'm talking about I do not know how to get it with, uh, with Final Cut but with ScreenFlow I actually did that very easily you just uh, switch it on and it's right there with uh, Final Cut. I still haven't found that option. It might be there I'm pretty sure it is but I haven't found it so far. So if any of you know, please let me know because I really uh, I really wonder a lot about that. Other than that, I hope you found this video helpful at least a little bit. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye